Hey kids, Papa Steve here, and today we're gonna be looking at the brand new Cuphead minifigures by McFarlane Toys. Oh cool, oh me love Cuphead, oh especially Mugman, ha oh, he's so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm Steve. Well, you're in luck, pal, because we've got Mugman, Cuphead, and more. So let's get to unboxing. Oh yay. <laughs> All right, kids, I'm super excited today because McFarland Toys ended up sending us a case of these really cool Cuphead buildable figures. Oh yeah, and I'm just so excited to open these up because the only figures we've gotten of Cuphead in the past are the ones made by Funko. And if you played the game, well, you'll know that they're a huge roster of characters to still make into action figure form. It looks like McFarland Toys ended up making a ton of them. Look at this, 26 to collect in all. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, we get Cuphead, Mugman, and all kinds of villains. And that's pretty cool because, well, we have no idea what's inside. And I'm told that there are common figures, uncommon figures, rare figures, and even ultra rare figures to find in these cool boxes. So let's open up the first one here. Let's see what figure we get inside here. And first up is <laughs> our man, good old Cuphead. And I'm super excited about these because we went to Toy Fair and these guys were on display because I guess they got damaged during shipping so they couldn't display for everyone. But now we finally have them and we're showing them off to you today. And boy, these guys look fantastic. Now, just so you guys know, these figures are kind of like Legos where they come apart and you have to put them all together when you pull them out of the box. But since this is the Puppet Steve show, well, they're all assembled ahead of time and these guys look great. And the coolest part is that he comes with a base which is one of those casino chips. Oh, nice, so it's blue in color. So let's stand them up there, and there's good old Cuphead, looking awesomer than ever. Okay, let's burst into another box here, because if there's 26 to collect, oh man, we're gonna be here all day trying to get them all. Okay, next up is the figure of, all right, good old Mugman, who's the cool second player in this Cuphead video game. And he looks just like Cuphead, only blue in color. He's got that big old nose, he's, also got a straw on his head, that's pretty cool. He's got a handle on the back of his, his head. And if we put both these guys side by side, all right, there we go, we've got the main characters of the Cuphead game, now in unfurling form. Okay, two figures down, 20 more, four more to find. And I wanna see who comes in this next box here. And here we have the figure of, oh cool, it's Miss Chalice, which is the other player in the downloadable content they can play in this game. Boy, talk about a cool looking figure. She looks great too. And now we have all three of the main playable characters of this game, DLC and all. All right, they look great together. Okay, time to grab another figure out of this case here. And next up, let's see who we get this time. It's, oh, it's the devil, our first bad guy of the series. And boy, he looks great. Looks like this figure is dark gray in color. And boy, look at that big old smile. Yep, it looks devious as ever those big horns on the top and oh look at that he's got that cool tail and he comes with another blue casino chip and what's really cool about this figure is if we compare him to his Funko counterpart we see this one is more game accurate than this one right here which is based on the more cartoony version of him all right so and if I had to decide well I'd pick this one over the Funko one any day so good job McFarlane all right, let's see what other figures we can get out of these cool cases. So let's see, open up this box and... ba -blam! Oh yeah, we got another bad guy. This is the cool character of Werner Worman. <laughs> oh man, what a crazy looking rat. That looks fantastic in McFarlane form. Yeah, just look at that cool head. Oh, perfect. Check it out. Okay, let's keep this party train going. Hope that we don't get duplicates. And hope we keep getting new guys. And next up is the figure of, oh cool, it's the robot. It's probably one of the coolest figures in this set, which is called Dr. Cow's Robot. And boy, talk about a really detailed character. Ha, oh, he is super awesome. He's got the antenna on his head, and it looks like he's got a mouth plate that goes up and down. And the cool part about this character is, well, this is one of the characters that Funko hasn't made. So that's a nice bonus for people that want to collect these awesome McFarlane toys. All right, time to open up another figure here. And inside this, we get a figure of, oh, cool, look at this. <laughs> it's Ghost Cuphead after he dies. And boy, I just love the colors on this guy. Yep, we get the cool halo on top and then the heart on its chest. Oh, I just love this figure. Let's see who we get this time. And it looks like Ooh, we get another ghost. Ha, and this time it's the ghost of Mugman. Nice! He looks just like the Cuphead ghost. 
Oli, more mug manish with the big nose, and the blue halo on top. So yep, that's another cool looking figure. And there they are. Okay, let's grab the last box on this row and see who we get this time. And this time we get the character of... Oh, it's another Cuphead. Oh, weird, but oh, this time he's got yellow hands. So it looks like it's the same exact figure, only the color of the hands are different. Oh, cool, look at this. This casino chip is red in color, whereas this one is blue. So I guess that means uh, they're different rarities based on their casino chip. So it looks like all the blue colors are common figures, and all the red figures are the uncommon figures. So that means for all you guys keeping track, there's eight common figures for you to collect in all in this really awesome series. And there they are. And now it's time to check out all the uncommon figures. Right, Cuphead? Yep, you said it. Let's get to it. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. And we'll check out our second uncommon figure. And this time we get the figure of... Well, it's Miss Chalice again. And check that out. She also comes with a red base. And this must be a repaint too, because if we compare it to the original... Oh yeah, look at the differences. It's the dress. This one's blue and this one's green. Okay, let's grab another box out of here. Let's see who we get this time. Ha! Now we get Mugman with yellow fingers too. And if we compare him with the regular Mugman, seems that that's the only difference are the hands. All right, well anyway, let's grab our next figure out of here. And let's hope we get someone new and not another variant. And this time we get... All right, now that's what I'm talking about. King Dice! I figure we haven't seen yet. Yep, he's looking pretty darn awesome with that big old grin. And of course, on the other sides of his head, we see the other sides of the die. And if we look at the body, well, we see all kinds of really cool details that come straight from the video game. Boy, I just love getting new characters and figures, so I, don't, I hope we don't get too many more variants from here on out. Oh, cool, it's Pork Rind! Well, this is super exciting because this is another figure that Funko hasn't made, and he looks great. Ha! Uh, he's a rogue pig that looks awesome. He's got that cool eye patch on. He's got that cool outfit on, making him awesome. All right, let's see who else we can find in this cool set. And up next, let's see, please be a good one. And, aw, oh, check it out. We get the awesome villain of Calamaria. And boy, she's one of my favorite characters because she's that mermaid that cool squid on her head. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh boy, and McFarlane did a great job on this figure. Especially if we compare it to the uh, Funko version. Yep, we see that they've got every detail looking fantastic. Okay, let's grab another figure out of this box and get an, our next uncommon figure, which is the figure of Ghost Mugman? Huh, interesting. Well, this is a figure I didn't expect to see, and I'm not sure which is different unless we compare them to the original. And, ooh, yet again, we see that the hands are different. It looks like that's the only thing. But, I know wherever there's Cuphead, there's bound to be a Ghost Mug Man. So let's see if this is it, and boom, yep, I called it. Ha, <laughs> uh, there we have Ghost Mug Man with the same kind of hands. And with that, looks like we have all our uncommon red-based figures out of this collection from McFarlane Toys. Okay, well, let's get back to the box here and open up our next figure. And this time we get, um, uh, Oh, cool. Ooh, look at this. Holy cow, it's another figure of Cuphead, but he's all in yellow. Oh, check it out. This time we get a yellow casino chip, which uh, I guess means this is a rare figure. <laughs> yes. And these figures are going to be really hard to find because these are rare and come packaged only a couple per case. And as you can see here, it's another variant of the Cuphead figure, with the main difference being that Cuphead's all in yellow here. All right, let's start on our last row here. And we've got nine boxes left to open. It looks like we get another yellow figure. And this time it's of Mugman. All right, I knew he was going to be lurking about. <laughs> and he also comes with a yellow base here. So let's put him on there and check it out. Boy, I just love that. Okay, let's grab another figure out of here and see if we get a new character or another variant. And this time we get... Oh, cool. Oh yeah, now this is a black variant of the double, which is really needed because, well, the one that's a common figure is gray in color. And if you want this cool figure in black, well, he comes at you in the rare section. So this guy's gonna be super hard to find, but it's gonna be well worth it because we get a double that looks just like he does in the video game. All right, I wonder what other rare figures are waiting for us here. And this time we get the figure of <laughs> oh, look at this. A yellow version of King Dice. Nice. 
So not only do we have King Dice in his purple outfit, but we also have him in his yellow outfit too. Nice. Okay, looks like we've only got six more packages left to open. And this is package number six. And this time we get the figure of, ooh, another yellow figure. And this is Miss Chalice. Oh man, I knew she was coming up sooner or later. And once we put all the Miss Chalice figures together, there we go, we've got all three versions of her right there. Looking cool as ever. Okay, let me grab two boxes out of this case because I have the suspicion that we're just gonna get variants from here on out. And, oh, looks like I'm right. Ha, out with these guys, we get both rare versions of the Ghost Mudman and Cuphead figures. And holy cow, looks like we've got a ton of these guys. Three Ghost Cuphead and Mudman's coming at you in this series. Oh man, with all these variants, I was hoping I'd get a figure that was kind of new. And let's see what awaits us this time, and... Oh, cool, here's a new figure for you. The first one in the rare set, which is the legendary Chalice. Now what's cool about this is, well, she's kind of like Miss Chalice, but kind of not. It's a new figure altogether, and she looks great. Halo and all, and I'm glad I could add it to my collection. And with that, we now have our complete set of rare figures, which would have been made completely of variants if it wasn't for the legendary Chalice here. So yeah, once we got them all, oh man, there's a lot of yellow going on here. Okay, so now that we have all the rare figures out of the way, uh, we've got two more boxes left. Huh, that's really weird, because I wonder who's left. Let's see, let's open this first one, and we will find out right now. Yeah, it looks like a Cuphead figure? Let's see, and, oh cool, I love it! Not only is it a Cuphead figure, but it's an evil Cuphead figure! I didn't know they were gonna make one of these. Nice, he isn't even listed in the box here. Oh, talk about a really cool find. Yep, this is an ultra rare figure, and check it out. He comes with a black casino chip, making this one super cool. <laughs> oh man, I just love that expression on his face. Look at that, his stroll is on fire. Oh, perfect. What a great figure and a great surprise to find in this box. And of course, I guess that means that this last figure has to be the other evil character, which is of course, Evil Mugman. <laughs> oh, look at that face. Oh man, that grin is fantastic. Looks like his stroll's on fire too. And he also comes with another black base. So man, if you get these black chipped figures, you found one really ultra rare figure. And we've got both of them. Oh yeah, thanks McFarlane. You guys are awesome. Well, all right kids, well with that, we now have all 26 figures coming at you from this really awesome McFarlane Toys construction figure set. And just look at them all. Good guys, bad guys, variants. Oh man, we've got tons of rarities all coming at you in series one. Now, I really hope these guys sell really well because I wanna see more bad guys that they didn't make in this set. Because there are just so many other bad guys that they could make for series two that I would love to see in this construction set series. So come on McFarlane, get these guys into plastic because I wanna see them in action figure form. All right, kids, well, there they are. The really cool McFarlane Toys construction sets that come in these really awesome boxes. And they should be popping up in Walmarts and Targets very soon.